you know, there's there's some black characters. Like there are characters, like cartoon characters, that have the most blackest personality that you guys have ever like like seen. Like you guys ever seen like the like there's characters like I'm I'm talking about characters that are not black but has the personality of a black person. Like there's characters that can be green, black, ma, uh, blue, black, yellow, black. Uh, let's see for example for a character like uh Piccolo. He's green. No, he's black. He is black. So Piccolo is black. The blackest Namekian that anyone's ever seen. Because um. If you guys seen the episode where um him and Gotenks were locked in a like in a on um, like little thing, they were supposed to be stuck in there forever. But then um Gotenks was playing around, and then Piccolo just straight up smacked the side of his head like a black like that's black, that's black. And then what Piccolo did to I think Android 13, um yeah like with, the, with that blast, bro. That he's black. Like okay, back to the Gotenks thing. You know, see, if you guys ever seen these, um, if you guys ever seen, like, those TV shows or, like, like, I think black people will get this. Not to be racist, but I think black people might get this. Like, uh, like, you know, like, one of the moms or grandmas be like, if you don't stop doing this, I'm gonna smack some sense into you. We like, wah, wah, just smack some sense. You got sense. Like, what? like that. That's black. And then, uh, another character, another Dragon Ball Z character, for example, Nail, black. Kami, black black uh pycon black pike okay don't get me started on pycon pycon is black if you guys did not like bro if you guys don't watch dragon ball z and you guys don't know who pycon is pycon is black like i'm talking about it was an episode okay so goku and um, pycon they were dead and um they had it was frieza it was cell um cooler uh raccoon no raccoon Birder, Jeez, Gudo, but not Ginyu because Ginyu is still alive. He just got um he possessed the frog because of Goku. But um it was an episode where like Goku was fighting all of them, but then here come Pycon. Boom! He he kicked Cell. Pycon kicked Cell with one kick. He he hit Frieza with one punch. And then he did his little spin move or whatever. He did the, all that in one hit. That is black. That's black. Because if you guys like don't know how like when black people fight, bro, you get hit by one punch, like one punch, man. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. Because like I'm telling y'all, bro, and it is like besides anime characters, like there's some video game characters that are black as well. Like there are really video game characters that are black. Like characters like uh King DDD. King DDD is black. King DDD is literally black. Like, I'm sorry this is a mess over there. We're still cleaning. But yeah, King DDD is black. Like, the blackest video game character I have ever seen in my life. Like, he, he is, like, he's black. Like, there is a lot of, like, characters that are, um, like, let's see, um, another character, for example, uh, dang. I think it was, like, no, it was a character from Uncharted. I forgot what his name was, but um, well, my like my fingers on it, my finger is on it. Um, he or she, um, no, 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 Chloe, Chloe. I mean, she sometimes she's like black or like she, her personality is like either black or white. Like she's either a black person or a white person. I'm not saying Nadine because Nadine is already black, but um, like talk about characters that are different colors that can be black. Let's see, um, another character, um, Knuckles from Sonic X. Knuckles from Sonic X, he was black. Like, there's episodes where Knuckles is actually black. It was like, um, he was like, this is no game. This is no game. Life is not a game. And stuff like that. Knuckles was serious. Like, like, sometimes black people are serious. Like, he was ready. He was ready for a fight. Knuckles and Sonic X, to be real. And then, um, yes, like, he was black. And then, um, Bunny Rabbi. Bunny Rabbi is even black. Like, if you think about it, you know how um, she always calls everybody sugar and stuff? That's a black person thing. That's a black thing. Like, Bunny is black. Sally, at times, she's black, but really she's not black. But, um, yeah. Back to what I was saying. Oh, yeah, characters like Kisame. Kisame's black. Kisame. Like, Kisame has one of the... Okay, you guys are sleeping characters like Kisame. Kisame is one of the blackest characters I've ever seen in my life. Like, 
I watch I watched a lot of episodes. Like literally. In episodes that had Kisami on it, he's black. On. Let's go back to Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, let's see. The Namekians. All the Namekians except for Dende have the most black like Namekian okay, it's so a planet Namek. Planet Namek is like a planet full of black people. Because um, like it's just the fact that like yeah, it's like everybody but Dende is like black. Because like they have the most blackest personality anyone has ever seen, bro. Like like that's that would really just crack me up. And really, like this got my attention. Not because of that. Because like like these characters are entertaining. Like I'm not trying to be racist, but I feel like black characters are more entertaining than other type of characters. Like characters with the blackest personality like you've ever seen. And then like, yes, there are characters that are black, bro. Like, yeah, Pycon. We could have had Pycon in it, the tournament of power. But no, like Toei don't want to bring Pycon back to life. Like who can even kill Pycon? No one ever knows who killed Pycon. Like Pycon never describe his death like he, they like Goku and Pycon never described their deaths like Goku has been brought back to life so many times but he never thought about bringing Pycon back to life Pycon Pycon could have been fighting a god he, he could have been fighting a god right now Pycon like yeah like Pycon he like I feel like if him and Piccolo were ever fighting uh Pycon would win like, you see he even put up a good match with Goku he put a good bunch of gold. Man, not Freezer, Cell, Ginyu, one hit. And he should be able to fight a god. And this man, this man came out of nowhere so fast. Boom, kick Cell. He came with Frieza. He tell he teleported. He said, boom, hit him with one punch. And then um, him and his big lips come. And he just, like, he spin around a little pool of death or something. And he just, and, like, they die. Like, they, I wouldn't say die. Yeah, uh, and then like I'm not gonna say Mr. Popo because even though Mr. Popo is black, like the color black, like the sweatpants I'm wearing right now, he is not. Not that he doesn't have the black personality. I'm sorry, he, he's not black. And, uh, but um, I was saying, but bro, these, these are real people. Like, these are they're real. Like, they are real, bro. I'm talking about real black people. Let's go with King DDD. If you guys ever seen the show Kirby you know, right back at you, King DDD has the most blackest personality that anyone's ever seen. He even talks black. That's the funny part. He talks black. Because characters like Piccolo, Piccolo talks like kind of like this. Goku, what are we going to do? We need to figure out how we're going to stop this mess. And then Pycon, I mean, he's kind of the same. Like He's like this. Uh, this time you have no chance, Goku. I've gone a lot since we last fought. I see. Your lips are huge now. I'm glad you know this. Yeah, they're more voluptuous now. Kind of like Kylie Jenner. Ah, uh, BFS. Goku and Pycon trying to fuse. Oh yeah, that was from uh, Fusion Reborn um, parody of SHA and IK. But anyway, um, yes, these are black characters, bro. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because like... It just got my attention. Like, I just started laughing about it, and I thought I should do a video about this. Like, the blackest characters anyone's ever seen. Like, I just saw Naruto, and there's some black people. There's some black characters on there. Like, Kakashi. Kakashi's even black. Kakashi from Naruto is one of the most blackest characters. Like, the blackest Naruto character. Yes. Like, you got a character that's actually black. Like, no. Like, Kakashi's not actually black, but, like, he has black personality. Like, Nobody's even seen half his face yet. Well, I think I have, but not really. But yeah. But anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this up real quick because you know I got things to do. So I hope you guys give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Next video will be a plush video, and um, peace out.